Hello, and today we'll be revisiting the problem we did in our last video, but we will be using an alternative method to find a solution, a simpler method in my opinion. So in my last video, I'll put a link in the description somewhere, uh, we wanted to find what fraction of the square is orange. So as you can see, we got a square, we got some triangles in it, and we have one sp specifically one orange triangle. And I use a combination of the Pythagorean theorem and similar triangles to find the solution. The solution at the end of the day was three tenths. But uh, in the meanwhile, in the last few days, I s discovered another way of finding the solution, but this time without using the Pythagorean theorem. So just using similar triangles themselves. So we'll go through it now. I won't be as pedantic as I was in the last video. You can watch it for all the details. So what I'll do, I'll just make this one. I'll make this one half. I'll make this one half. This is E. This is F. And in the last video, I found segment. This is one AE using the Pythagorean theorem. I concluded that triangles ADE and ABF are similar, and we were already able to find the area of triangles ADE and also BCE because they are congruent triangles, and we found that they were one quarter square units. So, uh, and all we need is to find the area of this triangle. So I use a combination of Pythagorean theorem and similar triangles, but this time. I'm not going to use the Pythagorean theorem. I'm just going to use similar triangles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a segment from vertex C that intersects segment BE at a right angle. We can call this point G. There we go. So I have now divided our triangle BCE into two triangles, but not just two triangles, but two similar triangles. So let's see, let's call this alpha, let's call this beta. So this is alpha, so this is beta. Uh, this here is already beta. Yes, this would be alpha, this would be beta. I'm not gonna go through the, uh, well, we can go through it pretty quickly, it's not that difficult. So this would be alpha. We know alpha plus beta is 90 degrees. So here we got a 90 degree angle. And that would be, oh, we already knew this was beta, actually. So, yeah, there we go. So, they're all similar. All right. So, what we can, now, now that we know that all these triangles are similar, specifically triangle CGB, which is this triangle here, and triangle CEG, this triangle, we can find the ratio of similarity between those two triangles since we have the hypotenuse of both triangles. So as we can see, the hypotenuse of triangle CEG is half that of triangle CBG. So from that, what we can conclude is that the area of triangle CGE would be four times less than the triangle than the area of triangle CBG. So if this were the area of triangle CBG were to be x then the area of triangle CGE would be x on 4. So all we need to do now, because we already know the area of triang the, both triangles combined, that is triangle, the area of triangle BCE, we can just add together x plus x on 4, and that equals to 1 quartered. So we get 5x on 4 equals to 1 quarter. Our x's can cancel. And there we go. x is equal to 1 fifth. So this here is equal to 1 fifth. But this triangle is also congruent to triangle BFA. They have the same angles. And the hypotenuse are equal to each other. So the area of this triangle here would be 1 fifth square units. And all we have to do now is to just to subtract the areas of our blue triangles. Let's say triangle B, C, E, A, D, E, and A, B, F.
and there we go. So even though we were able to find the, the solution uh, in our previous video using the Pythagorean theorem, I find it interesting to, to be able to find a simpler way to solve a problem. Uh, yeah, it just, yeah. Sometimes we can find a more complicated way to solve a problem, but uh, well, they, they will do that sometimes in, uh, in mathematics education. They'll give you a problem and they'll show you a more complicated way to solve a problem. But when they do that, they're usually trying to teach the new theory. So they're usually trying to give you an example that you're familiar with and they want to introduce new theory to you. But this, we're not actually doing any theoretical courses learning uh, mathematical theory step by step, chapter by chapter like that. So I find it very, very entertaining, very fun to be able to find different ways to solve a problem, specifically using simpler ways. So I think I said enough now. Thank you very much for walking, watching. Please like, watch and subscribe. And Matthew teach you math.